Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In today's video, we're going to go over how to use Go High Level Forms, its features, and pretty much everything from A to Z within Go High Level Forms. Now, before we get started, you can get a 30-day free trial link on Go High Level down below in the description. This is for everyone that is watching this video, so it's a special offer. Let's get right into the video. So once we reach in Go High Level, the first thing that we need to do is we need to go here and switch from an agency account to a sub account. We have already one sub account right here, so we can just go and click on that sub account right here. Now, once we reach that sub account, uh, what we can do is we can go to sites and from sites here you have forms. So on the forms, what we have is we basically have builder, analyze and submissions. So builder is obviously just a form builder. Analyze, here you can analyze all your forms and records uh, that you found within the form. And you have also submissions right here as well. These are just submissions within the form. So if you go to builder, we can go here and add a form. We can choose from a template. So this is kind of uh, new, which you can go and you can you know choose the template you want for a particular form. So this is something that Go High Level um, you know recently updated, and they're updating more and more templates as the time passes. So this is something that you can use. You also have the here uh, you know shared with me templates, my templates. Not only that, but you have browse categories. So you can uh, browse categories within health and wellness, for example, business coaching and consulting. And you have a lot of different things right here that you can uh, start with. However, I'll just go here and start from scratch and I'll just uh, you know show you how you can use the forms. So if we start from scratch here, oops, this is a glitch. So yeah, we'll just start from scratch. Um, obviously we'll need to wait a little bit until this is uh, completely loaded up. So once this form is right here, what we can do is we can change obviously things up, right? If we don't want the last name, we can just exit out of the last name. This is just an example right here. You can also change, uh, so whenever you're clicking an element, you can change that element on the right side of uh, this section right here. What you can also do is you can add a form element by going here. You can add like phone, email, button, you can sell products, you can collect payments, you have address, city, state, country, postal code, website. So for example, if you want, we can add a website here and this will be the website URL, right? So we can customize however we want. We can also add an image on top of the form, uh, you know, or this is basically whenever someone can choose a file and attach the image. So we don't want that. We can just go here and click X. We can add like a source, text, uh, basically a lot of different things. We also have custom fields here, so we can add a custom field if we want as well. So that's a couple of things how you can actually go and pretty much customize the forms, right? You can also add a conditional logic. So, you know, whenever a form is submitted, you can redirect it to a URL. Whenever a form is submitted, you can display custom message, disqualify the lead if uh, there is a certain answer in the form. You can show and hide fields as well. So that's also something that you can do uh, too. So uh, obviously, yeah, if you click on the first name, you can um, you know change the label, the sh uh, the input, the query key. You can also go to the email. You can change this as well. Um, for example, this right here, consent. For example, you can change this to say like this. I consent to receive SMS notifications. So you can also change that. You can change the uh, link, how it looks like. So we can change it to be, you know, a purple, for example. So whenever we click here, it will be purple. So that's something that we can do. Uh, if we click on the button, we can change the color of the button as well. So for example, if we want, we can change it to blue. Uh, also the, the subtext or the text here, free download, we can put free download, for example, right? Um, so we can play around with this, right? So if you're done, you can also go to preview here. So if we save this, obviously it's saving, we can go to the preview and this is how it's going to look like right here. So as you can see, it looks really clean. So that's one thing. The second thing that you can do is you can integrate this with other uh, features in Go High Level. So if we integrate this, we can integrate this as a sticky sidebar on a website. We can integrate this as polite sliding pop-up or inline. Now I like the pop-up, um, you know, most of the times you can just copy embed code and you can basically paste that code onto the website, which is really awesome. Then whenever you're on your website within Go High Level, uh, you can put this in header 
Um, and then whenever you're on your website, you will get a pop-up like this right here. Now, again, um, you can play around with the forms. There are a lot of forms features that will be, uh, you know, updated as Go High Level uh, advances. But this is pretty much in a nutshell how you can use Go High Level forms. Now, obviously, if you want to experience this fully, you can get a 30-day free trial with our link down below. So definitely check that out. And yeah, uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.